along the nail and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, inspiration, education, guidance, advice to uh, Noahides, um, converts to Judaism, and uh, Balitruva, Jews who are returning to Judaism. And I'm struck by an unusual wording, as I so often am struck by unusual wordings in the Torah. This one is in the book of Numbers, uh, chapter 11 where the people, uh, the Jewish people, are complaining that they don't have meat. They're, they have manna from heaven every morning, and they, they can eat and what they want. They can eat their fill. But um, they wanted meat. They wanted meat. They missed meat. Even though, according to Chazal, um, the mon, the, the manna, could taste like anything they wanted. They wanted actual meat. They wanted poultry. They wanted beef, whatever. And uh, Moses, in frustration, um, talks to God. And he is a very interesting wording. He says, did I conceive this entire people? Or did I give birth to it? Where shall I get meat to give to this entire people when they weep to me? He says, well, I'm not their parent. What do you, what do you want from me? It almost seems to suggest that if he was their parent, that he would do it. He hits on a very interesting, very interesting thought. Um, parents, a good loving parent, is very resourceful when it comes to providing um, for the children. They, um, when it comes to serving the, the children's need, um, the amount of energy that a parent can expend uh, for his or her child is truly remarkable, truly astounding. No mountain is too big, um, no task uh, so insurmountable that they won't find a way to do it. Hashem, God, the Creator, has imbued uh, most, almost all parents, um, with this love and dedication uh, for the child, that they will do anything almost anything that they can do to provide for the child, to the help for the child, to give the, the child a good life, an even better life than the parent, uh, him or herself, had. Nothing's impossible for a good and loving parent when it comes to the child. The, uh, the Bali Musar, the, 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 uh, those behind the movement for um, ethics and responsibility, um, uh, say that uh, this love, this parent love for a child, isn't just instinct, it's not just a survival mechanism. It was instilled by the Creator Himself uh, and infused in every loving parent with respect to the child. Um, I would suggest that ideally, this is the same sort of relationship that should happen between a Rebbe and his Talmudim, um, a, a religious leader and his uh, followers, that of a parent. Um, a true religious leader should feel that nothing is uh, insurmountable when it comes to providing uh, for his flock, for his, uh, for his congregants. When it comes to teaching, when it comes to inspiring, he should go to, to every extent um, for this. Um, he has to imbue his students with Torah Hashem, with the Torah of God. Um, what may turn a lesser person away is uh, a source of love and inspiration for the Rebbe, for the teacher, for the leader. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.